Hi guys, John Teke here and today I'm going to show you how you can make your old laptop as a gaming PC or a gaming laptop with the help of our external GPU. So this is a uh, GPT G1 external GPU. So I'm using this on my Legion Go and now we're going to try it on our old laptop. So this laptop is a HP laptop G6 and a uh, 8th gen uh, Intel i5. So it's kind of old. I think it's four years old or, or more so the processor is kind of low but uh, luckily it has a Thunderbolt 3 so here as you can see there's a Thunderbolt 3 here that we can use our um, external GPU G1 uh, GPD G1 so we're going to test this on the gaming and we're going to try to uh, connect the external GPU here it's going to have a bottleneck because the processor is really uh, outdated I think we need at least a 10th gen but for just the uh, guide purposes I'm going to test this out for you guys who has a uh, old laptop and wanted to try some games and you purchase this for your uh, other handheld devices so you can try it on your old laptop or old desktop that has a support of Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 so now we connected our um, external GPU let's check the um, device manager So as you can see, it auto detects the uh, 7600M XT. So in any case that it doesn't uh, detect that, you can just right click and update the drivers. So it, it will install the drivers automatically. Then we have no problem on installing. Now we're going to try some games. So here we have a uh, external M.2 enclosure. And as you can see, the um, GPT G1 also serve as a uh, dock. So we can insert any uh, USB devices. So insert here. There. You see it's automatically detected. So let's try to open it. You can see on the game files. Uh, let's see. Let's run a uh, God of War. And let's double click God of War. There you go. By the way, I have a separate video of this GPT G1. If you want to check it out, I'll, send, I'll post the link on the description. It has the uh, demo for the Legion Go. So you can see the gameplays or the game that I'm trying to test for it. Okay, so as you can see, it has a few lags on the intros because um, this game is still using the um, default GPU of the laptop, which is uh, 550x region. So let's check the settings here. So display. So as you can see, yeah, it's using the region 550x series, which is the uh, built-in GPU of this laptop. So first, we're going to try the game using that default uh, settings. So let me check. So see, it's kind of lag. Okay, so here we go in the game. You can see it really struggles the movement. There. And it's barely unplayable. Our settings is set to low. So here on graphics, so there it's low. Now, uh, we can barely move. As you can see, it's really uh, stuttering and not really playable on this state because we're using the built-in GPU of this laptop. Now we're going to switch it to our external GPU. Let's go to settings, then display here. And this one there. So it's 7600M XT, which is our GPT G1. Now we set it. We need to restart the game. So I need to close the game first. Okay, four. There. Run the game again. 
Okay, it's loading up. So there you can see the uh, intro is kind of smooth now. Okay, so here let's check the settings, go to display, we're using the uh, GPT G1 which is 7600M, there. Now our settings is still the same, it's still low because uh, our processor is really um, bottleneck the uh, GPU. Alright, so there you have it. it. Runs more smoothly now. Unlike before, it's it's really stuttering, and you can see that I can walk freely. Unfortunately, we cannot uh, preset the game on high because, yeah, as I told you before, uh, our processor is really low. It's on 8th gen only. And most of the external GPU are requiring at least 10th gen or higher. But yeah, you can see on this um, gameplay, we are having a, uh, I think this is a 30 FPS. So yeah, I think this um, setup is quite good. If you already have a uh, GPT G1, you can use it on your older laptop so that you can play some games there. Uh, but I would not recommend you're going to buy a uh, external GPU just for this laptop, especially if it's a really old one. At least make sure your laptop is uh, 10th gen or higher and has a Thunderbolt 4. There you can utilize the game and the GPU and really have a, a good and smooth gameplay so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this video just a, a quick uh, tutorial guide for you that you can also use this uh, gpt g1 on the older laptops that you have so yeah uh, thank you again for watching this video and hope you see you guys soon god bless everyone